We offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, in order to prepare ourselves to receive these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our own sinfulness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity. And so, in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins. Whoever honors his father and preserves himself from them is in good stead. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the debt of your sins, a house raised in justice for you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another if one has a grievance against another. As the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, 
giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to the festival custom. After they had completed its days as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but did not find him. They returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded by his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. The question seems for us today is how do you lose Jesus? A real aspect, how do you lose Jesus? Uh, The Gospel today depicts the great horror of every parent, the missing child. Now, if we contextualize the event, we realize that it's not really uncommon for a family traveling with extended family or neighboring friends at an event or family gathering to presume that the child was with cousins, uncles, aunts, or friends. He wasn't lost. He was merely with other family members. But think of the shock when the discovery was that he was not with extended family or friends. He was, in fact, missing. When someone or something is missing, the first thing one does is to retrace his steps. This is the best method for investigation. This lead and led Mary and Joseph, the worried parents, eventually back to the temple. They discovered him there, speaking to the teachers. He was, even at his young age, a teacher among teachers. These learned men, realize, were concerned with God. That's why they were in a temple. That's why they're teachers. And ironically, they were talking to God's son. His response to his parents was a simple, did you not know that I must be in my father's house? Although we may find Jesus Christ in any place in our society where love is practiced, After all, St. Paul tells us, over all these put on love, that is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called, and be thankful. 
However, it is in the temple, the church, that we find the greatest declaration of God's presence. It is his love that is expressed by his obedience to the Father, and he will ultimately be the sacrifice by which we will be restored as children of God, children of the Father. Like the sacrificial lamb of the temple, he is the perfect sacrifice. He is the food, the flesh, and blood that calls the family of believers to receive him and become one body with him. As one body, the beauty of family is that we are connected. Therefore, we should support one another. The book of Sirach declares the family's role in the development of the person, recognizing that we must meet each other's needs. The child depends on the parents, and as time passes, the parents upon the child. But we do so out of love. Today's feast is of the Holy Family. The best model of church is family. The family is also referred to as the domestic church. It's here where we find Christ. Here where we offer love to one another. We are bound together through his blood, and we follow his example to be obedient sons and daughters to God the Father. Whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. We are his brothers and sisters. We are his family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And together, let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Together as one family, we place our needs before our Father with an understanding of his response in love. For the church, that our family of faith may find favor before God in the way that we care for our most vulnerable members, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may take the shared values of the whole human family and work together to bring justice and peace to all peoples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may treat members of our families with kindness, humility, patience, and compassion, forgiving them when they let us down, putting on love over all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick, especially among our viewers and listeners, may they be relieved of their suffering during this Christmas season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have gone before us, May they be embraced by the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Joseph as they behold Christ face to face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the needs and prayers of our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the state of Iowa, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Father, hear the prayers that we place before you those spoken aloud, those which remain in our hearts. And if it be in your will, grant them through our Lord and brother Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable and pleasing to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and St. Joseph, you may establish our families, families firmly in your grace and your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for on the feast of this awe filled mystery, Though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours. And begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you. As in joyful celebration, we acclaim... Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope. Me, your unworthy servant, my assistant bishops, Richard, Jeffrey, James, and all the clergy, religious, and laity everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. John the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, together we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now we offer to one another as members of the one body, the one family, a sign of Christ's peace. And we offer that peace to all those viewing in their homes. the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
And let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And we bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go now in love and peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you.